Hey guys, hey, we are looking at AS level maths past paper exam questions on real life differentiation problems. When these come up, they are quite tricky, but they are worth lots of marks. So, let's do this. Okay then, first up, Iraqi makes cylindrical planters out of thin sheets of galvanized steel. She bends a rectangle of steel to make an open cylinder and welds the joint. So there she's welding along the height of the cylinder. She then welds the cylinder to the circumference of a circular base. <laughs> the capacity of the planter must be 8,000 centimeters cubed. So that's the volume. Welding is time consuming, so Recti wants the total length of weld to be a minimum. Our job is to calculate the radius R and height H of a cylinder which requires the minimum length of weld. Fully justify your answers, giving them to a suitable degree of accuracy. Alright, lots to do. So, first of all, let's work out an expression for the total length of weld. So, I'm going to call that L. Now we want to weld around the circumference of the circle. So that's pi times diameter, or 2 pi r. And then along the joint of the rectangle too. So that's the height of the cylinder. So this is what we want to minimize. At the moment though, there is a problem. In this, uh, there are two variables, r and h. So at the moment, if we differentiate with respect to one of them, the other one will just disappear. And that is not allowed to happen. So we need to get this expression in terms of just r or just h. Now to do that, we use um, something that links the two together. So here, that's the volume. So, we know the volume wants to be 8,000 centimeters cubed. Now in terms of R and H, that's pi R squared H. So, pi r squared h must be 8,000. Now, from that, I would say it's easier to get h on its own. So, h is 8,000 over pi r squared. Okay, now we're going to substitute that into our expression for the length. So the length is now, in terms of our 2 pi r, add 8,000 over pi r squared. Okay, now let's think about what we're trying to find. We're trying to find a minimum length. So, for a minimum, which is a stationary point, d 
Ding L by the uh, must equal zero. And the second derivative must be positive. Or, sorry, let's differentiate. So, dl by dr is going to be 2 pi r, well, I'm sorry, so that differentiates to 2 pi. Now, 8,000 over pi r squared, we can think of 8,000 r to the minus 2 over pi. So the minus 2 comes down, multiplies the 8,000, so we get minus 16,000. Now the r to the minus 2 becomes r to the minus 3. And then that's over pi. Okay, now while we're here, we will also get the second derivative. So, d squared l by the r squared. The 2 pi disappears. Now, with the minus 16,000 r to the minus 3 over pi, the minus 3 multiplies the minus 16,000. So that gives us 48,000 R to the minus 4 over pi. Okay, so now we can start to find our values. So, let's find our... So, for DL pi dr equal to zero, that gives us 2 pi minus 16,000 over pi r cubed equal to zero. From that, we can get 2 pi is equal to 16,000 over pi r cubed. Now let's multiply through pi r cubed and divide through by 2 pi. We're going to get r cubed is equal to 8,000 over pi squared. Finally, cube root, we get r is the cube root of that. Now it's a one decimal place, which when we're dealing with centimetres is a fine degree of accuracy, we get 9.3 centimetres. Okay, now I'm going to, before I find H, I'm going to make sure that gives us a minimum. So, remember that our second derivative was 48,000 over pi r to the 4. 
Now you could calculate the value of this, that would be fine, but we can see that that is going to be positive when R is positive. Therefore, uh, our value for L is going to be a minimum. Okay, so now we just need to find H. So to do that, remember that the volume was by r squared h, which had to be 8,000. From that, we can get h is 8,000 over pi times r squared. Now, when R is 9.3 H is going to be, now for that I get 29.4 centimetres. Okay then, question 2. So this time we have a swimming pool in the shape of a rectangle joined to a semicircle. Now to cut a long story short, we know two lengths of 2x and y. The area of the pool must be 250 meters squared. But a then wants us to show the perimeter of the pool is 2x add 250 over x add pi x over 2. Alright, so perimeter then is going to be 2x add 2y add the arc of the semicircle. Now, the semicircle as a radius of x, or a diameter of 2x. So, if we had the whole circle, the circumference would be 2 by x. We only have half the circle, so the arc is just pi x. Now, we have a problem because we have a y in our perimeter. We want it fully in terms of x. So, this is where we use the area. So, the area of the pool is going to be 2x times y for the rectangle. Then the semicircle has a radius of x, so the area of that is going to be x squared pi over 2. Now we know that that must equal 250. Okay, now in our perimeter, we have a 2y. So, from the area, we just need to get 2y on its own. So, we get 2xy is equal to 250 minus x squared pi over 2. And then we divide through by x and we get 2y is 250 over x 
minus x pi over 2. So, substitute that into our parameter. So our parameter is 2x. Then it was add 2y. So that's add 250 over x minus pi x over 2 and then add pi x so there we have 2x add 250 over x then we have pi x minus pi x over 2 so that's pi x over 2 which is what we were trying to show okay then part b wants us to explain why x must be greater than 0 but a less than or 500 over pi. Okay, so x is a length, so x must be greater than 0 because x is a length. Now the upper bound isn't so obvious. So, let's say that x was root 500 over pi. Then x squared would be 500 over pi. Then pi x squared would be 500 now remember the area of the semicircle is pi x squared divided by 2 so that would give us pi x squared over 2 is equal to 250 but the total area of the pole, including the rectangle and the semicircle, is 250. So the area of the semicircle cannot be 250 or above. So x must be less than root 500 over pi. And part C wants us to find the minimum parameter of the pole, giving our answer to three sig figs. So, again, for a minimum, uh, the P by the X must equal zero. So, let's differentiate. So we're going to get 2. Now 250 over x is 250x to the minus 1. That's going to differentiate 2 minus 250 over x squared. And then pi x over 2 is going to be pi over 2. Alright, from that, if we set it equal to zero, we get, or we can get, 2 add pi over 2 is equal to 250 over x squared. Now, 
multiply through by x squared, x squared times 2 add pi over 2 is equal to 250. Divide through by the bracket, x squared is 250 over 2 add pi over 2. Square of that, and we get x is equal to 8.37 meters. Okay, now that's the value of x which is going to give us, hopefully, a minimum. So we're going to sub that into the perimeter. Before that though, we should check this gives a minimum. So, our second derivative is going to be, well, the 2 and pi over 2 are both going to disappear. So we're already differentiating minus 250x to the minus 2. So that gives us positive 500 over x cubed. Now this is going to be positive when x is positive. So P will be a minimum. So all that we need to do now is sub our x value into P. So when x equals 8.37 meters, P should give you 59.8 meters. Okay then guys, that's it for this set. Really hope you found it useful. There's one more thing to do with differentiation, and that is first principles. So that's the next video. Hope to see you there. Take it easy. Take care.